I think I want to add some, I'm cutting my pan sausage, but I think I want to add some cinnamon and a touch of lemon on my pan sausage and just let it cook. This is my egg, I'm gonna scramble it. I'm gonna add a couple of drops of lemon juice in it. You never had eggs with lemon juice? Oh my, what a tr And, and another little small touch of cinnamon, cinnamon. I would put nutmeg, but I'm not sure. I'm not trying to make candy jams or sweet potato pie. So now I'm scrambling my eggs. We'd like to add a little. We'd like to add a little. What you call it? What you call it? Milk. Milk. Some people add milk to their eggs. Some people add milk to their eggs. I really don't. I really don't. I just. Let me get back to my pan sausage with a touch of cinnamon and. This is my special electric iron skillet that I use. I just believe it just keeps the flavor and everything. I like the new skillets that's out in the market, but this one, it always said, when you don't want your pan sausage to be, uh, just add a little water to it and let the water simmer into the pan sausage and it will pull the uh, grease out of it. So that's what we do now. We add just a little water, let it simmer gonna simmer down in a minute, but they won't be greasy, but they'll still have that good flavor in it. So now, I scrub, scramble my egg and just a little uh, extra virgin olive oil. Make my scrambled eggs. Let that sit for a minute. I have my temperature on like four or five. And, and then I'll start turning. I normally would add onion and bell pepper to it to almost make it an omelet. But this is, I just want straight egg because sometimes Braden just wants straight egg. He don't want the onions and bell peppers and things in it. So I just start flipping it so it won't scorch at the bottom of the skillet. And I hope this come become very scrumptious and very tasty with the cinnamon and the um, touch of lemon. I think it will. If not, they will surely let me know that next time leave off the cinnamon and the olive oil, uh, the, uh, the uh, a, uh, neck. They will surely let me know and tell me, Mom, next time, leave off the lemon juice and the cinnamon in a fried egg. <laughs> but you're always going to add different touches to it to make it taste a little bit different. And I'm just trying to get something to do with all the And the last finishing touches now, I have the eggs, the pine, um, the eggs, the sausage with cinnamon and lemon juice. I have my waffles, crispy waffles. I have my syrup and finishing touches with the blueberries and strawberries. Let's get ready to eat. Dinner is served. Somebody tell me why do we as consumers want product with so much sugar. I've got to go into the grocery store. I've got to decide to cook something. So I'm going to try and find something that will be cooked with less sugar. It's kind of windy out here. I've got chicken, green beans and corn, and candied, ye candied yams. Are you serious, really? Candied yams. We are going to see this. Huh? 
Okay, as you can see, I'm putting my smoked chicken on the pit. I have my green beans picked. I added some carrots and a little seasoning. No sugar. Oh. Here's my Burns barbecue sauce. Guess what? It only has five grams of sugar That's in it. That's Burns original barbecue sauce. Naturally made. Here's my candied yams demonstration. You got to peel the candied yams at each one. A drop of lemon juice, raw lemon juice, and put it in. You know, to keep cooking until it cooks itself down. And then you'll know. On high for about five more minutes. And then you release. You're eating all of your waffles. What did the pitch road mean?